just arrived here. We're back in Teapot Tip, and uh, I've never seen. I don't think we've actually been in this this area before. I think this a, this looks like it might be quite a new hole. Do you know what? I think is that. I don't think it's spongeware, is it? It looks like transferware, but it kind of looks like a sponge design. What oh, do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I do think that's... I oh, know that is transferware. I can see it now. The lines are too neat. Yeah, they I think really it's far are. too clear. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take it out. Let's see. Okay, well, that is actually really nice. There's a really lovely sort of big leaf in it. Uh, it's a nice deep red colour that mm -mm, one. What yeah. do you reckon it might have been? Bit of a teapot, bit of a teacup? <laughs> probably a, 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 maybe a teacup, probably, I think so. Maybe we'll take that and see if we can make something out of it. Yeah, there's another couple of pieces before you... <laughs> I know that you're tempted to just swipe in here and grab that, <laughs> but there's another few little pieces around, All like right. this one. That's a really dainty wee piece. Oh yeah. It's another floral design. And mm -hmm. what is this piece here? I'll show you what I'm pointing at. Point at that, oh. because it looks to me like it might be milk glass, but it might be milk glass with a design on it. Do you want to grab that? Mm. We'll pop it down next to these two pieces. Yeah. And we'll have a wee look at them back to back. Okay, let me... I say back to back, I mean side by side. <laughs> yeah, well, it does look like there might be a wee design on it. Um, difficult to see just now, but maybe we'll just take all three pieces and see if we can if we can make something with them. Maybe it's a day for ceramics. Always nice to see these shipham's jars. Particularly when they're in nice interest in shapes as well. I don't think we've seen one yet that has the word Shippums on it but this one you can see there's a wee bit of ghost label there and it has that really lovely urn shape as well. I think these are really just, you know I've said it before but they're kind of iconic. <laughs> as much as I really dislike Shippums paste I really do like these wee jars. So I'm going to collect a few of these today and uh, we'll have a look at the kind of diversity of shapes and styles and sizes that they came in. So, fingers crossed, I find a good dozen or so. This is number one. This is number two. Right. Oh look, it's half a wee jam pot there. Almost not, almost didn't see that. Right, okay. Maybe I'll just, uh, actually, I'm gonna have a scrape around over here because I can see some things in there. anything on it. And I'm just going to take a wee look basically at my feet. And the first thing I can see there is there's another partial poison bottle. I'm not sure if that's too partial. Got a wee bit of the lid. We've got all the neck there, actually. You got a wee bit of the side. So I'm gonna pass that over to Nicole because I think that might qualify uh, for a big enough piece for this collection of partial pieces of poison bottles. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait and find out what she does with them. I'll pop that over for a second. And as I do, I'm gonna swing uh, the camera down here because there's another uh, vaguely medicinal item. Uh, just right at my feet here. So this is another wee uh, medicinal vial by the looks of things. Pop that out. Can't leave these behind. They're far too wee and cute. We like wee bottles. Uh, so we're definitely going to be taking that. Oh, look. 
Now this one's all cracked, it's a shame, it's a different shape and a different design uh, from the other two that I've found so far. I'm on strict orders to leave anything that's broken and I think this definitely qualifies for broken. I'm sure there's other ones around though, so let's see if we can find them. That'll be number three. That's another cool one. It's another one of these nice urn shapes. Be having that. <laughs> Still on that search for these Shippum's jars. And this one, I don't think I've seen one quite like that one before. I don't think we found one. It's in one piece. It's like a mini urn shape. <laughs> That's quite cool. So we'll have that. And I think Nicole has also found another one and she's just popped it down over here. And it looks like it's the big version of that one. That's quite cool. So we have mini urn, big urn. Let's add them to the collection that I've been uh, making. Nicole's been helping. And we'll see how many we got. Well, I think we've done spectacularly well on the shipping's <laughs> jars. Yeah. And this is the thing, you know, if you focus on one wee object and you decide, you know, we're going to collect them today. Mm -hmm. No matter how kind of, you know, I mean, I know that these aren't... Uh, the kind of things that bottle uh, collectors and bottle diggers lose uh, lose their heads over. No. I, I think they're great though. I think they're yeah. iconic. Some of them are beautiful shapes as well. And some of them just have really, really cool uh, kind of embossed designs on them. Yeah. So how many did we manage to find all in? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's the twelve we we're looking for. That's <laughs> awesome. So look at a wee, a wee fly. The flies have started to invade the camera now. <laughs> it's getting bad. <laughs> I think yeah. we're nearly done here. We've got yeah, a few yeah. more things that we want to look at. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, okay, so. Yeah, I really love Shippum straws. They are like little vases and there's so many different designs. So, I like these ones. This is the yeah. first time I think we've seen a wee one like that. That's like a mini urn shape. Yeah, I only yeah. just found that. Yeah, but it's, it's got a crack on the side. Is it? Sadly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, that is a shame. Mm -hmm. So we'll knock that one over. We're not taking that one, oh. sadly, even although we don't have one like it. That's a real we've got shame. these urn ones as well. We've yeah. actually got a few uh -huh. of these. So that's another. It's I'll pop that. One. I think so. They might be slightly different. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's hard to see on this mm. slope as well. But they look very similar. They do, but they're mm -hmm. very cool. Mm -hmm. Moving along, we have one that looks like an old yogurt uh -huh. <laughs> uh, jar. It's uh -huh. not, it's Shippum's Paste. You don't yeah. want to mistake the two. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> for Shippum's oh, yeah. Paste in your cornflakes. It's another one like this. Yeah. So yeah, that's, I think we've so got four. So there's a collection of the urn-shaped ones. Must have Seems been to be quite a few of those. popular brand in the area, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, there's... Well, they're all Shippum's, aren't they? Mm, it's just well, different flavours, yeah. maybe. I don't know how, how if there were other makers of paste. <laughs> I'm sure there were. Yeah, yeah. I like this one with the little triangles on yeah. it. Yeah, I think um, we should take that one then, no? Yeah, okay, we'll take this one and we'll take, um, I think this one, I yeah. don't think that's very broken. No, it's not and I don't think we've seen one mm -hmm. uh, or we, we haven't collected one like that. Mm -hmm, no, this one is very fractured, yeah. I can see that okay. now, so that's sadly going to have to stay here. Do you know, I shouldn't have even added that up there, that's a shame. <laughs> With a little one, then there's this one, this looks in perfect shape. Yeah. No nicks on it. Ghost label, but a yeah. quite common one, the same as that one actually. These two mm -hmm. are the same, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, they yeah. do have the same kind of thickness in it. Oh, yeah, they'd make a nice wee set. And then there's uh, this one, which I think might be the same, so. Okay, so which one do you want to take then? Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm going to take this one. Yeah. And this one, there's a bee. We chip there though. <gasps> oh it? no, it's oh. a chip. I think we'll have to leave that. Do mm. you know, I think we've got one like that in the house. Mm, yeah. I think we do. Yeah, yeah. And maybe because that one's chipped, we should just leave it. We should be a wee yeah. bit picky. Yeah, yeah. You know, or we'll be living in a glass dump soon. <laughs> There'll be people banging at our door to see yeah. if they can dig our garden. Okay, so out of the 12 so far, I've just got the one. And uh, we'll see. This one is very rusty looking. Yeah, I'll take a couple of these and uh, maybe these. So I'm just taking three, three or four. Okay. I think we'll just take these four. Good choice. <laughs> yeah.
Now the last time we were anywhere near this place I found a few jars and we didn't take them and I think, I suspect, that that might be one uh, just right in front of me. It's the brown glass jar here mm -hmm. that has a kind of squared finish to it. So let's have a look. Pop that there. Oops. Yeah, I think that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Huh? Oops. I, I, I apologise because I'm well aware that every time a little bottle clinks in front of the microphone, it is a horrendous noise. So I do apologise for that. So I'm not sure if you can read that. I hope you can. That says Virolax. Now that is one of three uh, brands, well, one of three products that was made. So I'm going to see if we can find uh, the other two. One of them is just called Viral. And the other one is called, is it Milk Viral or Viral Milk? I forget exactly which. But we'll tell you a little bit about what they were used for and who made them a wee bit later on. There's some really cool stuff in here and some really interesting shaped uh, bottles. Now, this one I think's really interesting. That's Kepler. Oh yeah, we've, we've got one of those. We found that somewhere else. You found that. Right. That one's quite cool. I don't know. It's, it's such an issue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're being fussy pants, as I say, so mm -hmm. I think we're just going to have to leave that because it has that big, big dunt mm -hmm. in it. But moving across here, there's lots of little bottles as well. You know how much we like a little bottle, there's a little bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking for something else in here because, as I said, I found that Viralax. Now, so I'm looking for brown glass, but not, not bottles of that shape or that shape. I think, yeah, yeah, I think that might be one. Can I see it through the, the monitor though? That's the thing. Yeah, this. Let's have a look. That's promising. Yeah. Cool. That says viral. Pop that here. Where Where will I pop that? There we go. Now viral was a mixture of um, bone marrow and um, malt extract. And it was made by the same company that made Viralax. So this one, um, it was basically for strengthening uh, young children and helping them grow up big and strong. Now, can you guess what Viralax was? <laughs> we'll have a wee look at that in a second. I'm just going to go pop this beside the other bottles whilst Nicole has a wee laugh at that. So we've got a wee pile of these just now. I see Nicole's found another Viral bottle. So that's this one here and that's the bigger sized. So we've got the small size of Viral. Or one of the small sizes. I don't know what sizes these came in. That would take a wee bit of digging around to find out. So we've got the smaller viral there, we've got the larger viral, and as I say, these were uh, supplements uh, to help young children grow up big and strong. Now viral ax, probably won't come as a surprise, was a laxative. Um, I'm sure I've read the ingredients of that somewhere. What I'll do is, I'll put it up here on this side of the screen, <laughs> if I can find exactly what was in that. But viral ax and viral were made by the same company. Now all we need to find is the milk viral, or viral milk, I forget exactly what it's called, but these are cool finds. Viral was an experimental product created by the Bovro company in 1899. Viral was a malt extract containing bone marrow, egg, lemon or orange syrup, ingredients that cover a good range of protein and vitamin content lacking in many diets. At its height, Viral was dished out to paying school children on a daily basis and with the promise that children will thrive from Viral. The product was very popular and it remained in production until as recently as 1980. The product's popularity allowed Bovril to establish the Viral company and to release other products such as Viralax and Viral and Milk. Although the ingredients of Viral are easy enough to find, we haven't yet found details about Viralax or Viral and Milk. Viralax was advertised as a nourishing laxative. It promised to free the body from poison while providing it with nutrition. Viral and milk, for its part, was marketed as a nerve tonic, specifically aimed at women, despite being available in family-sized tins. I found one source from New Zealand that seems to suggest that viral and milk 
could also have described conventional viral mixed with warm milk. Viral is an interesting product because it spans three of the main concerns of the period. Filling the gaps in a poor diet, providing a laxative, which again addressed dietary shortcomings of the times, and concerns with mental well-being. Although unlike many of the other products of the time, viral and milk didn't require sedation. We hope you enjoyed today's wee extra video. Thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a second to subscribe to the channel. A massive thanks to, to everyone who's helped support this channel through Kofi and Etsy. That really does keep the lights on for us. Thank you all so much for that. Please also take a moment to check out Crafting with Scottish Mark Larkin. We'll see you next time.